fellow Dominicans and residents of the St. Joseph constituency, it gives me great pleasure as the Minister of Youth Development and Empowerment, Youth at Risk, Gender Affairs, Senior Security, and Dominicans with Disabilities, along with the members of my family, to join you in celebrating a special time of the year when, whatever has gone before, we can take an opportunity to celebrate all that is good in the world and to spend time with our loved ones. Christmas Day is, first and foremost, a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It is a day of inestimable importance to billions of Christians worldwide. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, the Bible reminded us that the Virgin is with child and will give birth to a son whom they will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. We are told further that the son would be called Jesus because he is the one who will save the people from their sins. This promise was fulfilled as foretold by the prophets. During this season of Christmas, I therefore implore you to truly embrace and celebrate the true meaning of Christmas. And what is the true meaning? It is to be a people committed in our thoughts and hearts in the teachings of Christ our Savior. While we celebrate being together, we are reminded of the many who will be alone and sadly enough lonely at Christmas. But our communities are built on generosity and the solidarity that we are our brothers and sisters keep us. Let us reach out to those who have little and share with them. In these times, we all live in moments of uncertainty, one way or another. Indeed, this year, the entire world, including our homeland Dominica, is faced with the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has undoubtedly caused much uneasiness among our people and somewhat curtailed the festive mood that we are accustomed to over the years. As this pandemic continues to bring sickness and death, fear and mistrust globally, we may not feel as joyful as we were accustomed to this year. But be encouraged. There is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Let us therefore take time to become better persons within ourselves. This search into yourself can bring great energy to your individual person. Energy, strength, health, and well-being that you can surely share and pass on to those you meet and even think of whether they were near or far. This invites consideration. Let us use our time wisely too. Christmas gives us the chance to listen, reflect, and remember all the things that bind us together. Our compassion, our determination, and our hope for a better St. Joseph constituency and a better Dominica. I really hope for a better St. Joseph constituency. I speak here about the people of Bells, Meru, Layu, and every area of St. Joseph. As a medical doctor by profession, my heart reaches out to those in need of care. In the spirit of Christmas, I touch you gently. Those of you living in Dominica's seven health districts, I pray that you will be restored and rejuvenated this Christmas, you and your caretakers. Let me add that as a nation, we must take some time to ponder collectively on the many positive developments we have achieved despite the economic challenges faced during this pandemic. Still, your government continues to deliver on every promise made to you over the years. Let us be grateful for the many families who are comfortably relocated in resilient homes. Our three major bridges on the Edward Oliver Libler Highway, which are now accessible to commuters. A resource center in Layu, the second phase of the Dominica China Friendship Hospital, which is nearly completed, and the several bits of new equipment which have been installed to provide better health care to our citizens. In addition, several new health centers have been completed. 
There is so much more that we need to be thankful for this Christmas season. We are very thankful to God for all his mercies, for the efforts of this government, and in particular, the Honorable Prime Minister. Because of due fiscal prudence and the help of other friendly governments and development partners, we have been able to continue the development work here in Dominica. As many of us enjoy a break at this time of year, let's not forget all those who have selflessly put their celebrations on hold. On behalf of the whole country, I want to say a huge thank you to our remarkable frontline workers, many of whom will be working throughout the holidays to take care of us. Thank you to our police officers, our fire officers, our custom officers, and our healthcare workers who have worked tirelessly to combat the spread of COVID-19. As a nation, together we salute you for your services rendered. May the peace of God be with you and your family this Christmas. This year, I appeal to you to be a responsible citizen. Be sure to practice all the health protocols put in place by the Ministry of Health to curb the incidence of COVID-19. We are aware that in Dominica, Christmas is a time when families come together to share the joy of the season. It is also a time for healing and reconciliation. Despite our challenges, let us all reach out to others. Let us remember the underprivileged, our essential service providers, the seniors and the disabled among us. This is what Jesus would expect of us. I leave you with these comforting words of the angels to the shepherds. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. A Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year to St. Joseph Constituency and the people of Dominica. Peace, joy, and love. Thank you.